Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We learn a lot today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We learn a lot today. Welcome to Mr. Pete's Playhouse. Our summer days have come to an end and now it is time for autumn, where we feel the crunchy leaves under our feet or we buy a new scarf to keep us warm with some hot soup. Mm -mm, and pumpkin spice latte, our favorite. <laughs> there is plenty of things to love about autumn and today we are going to be learning all about them. So, are you ready to jump into autumn? Then let's go! Autumn is one of four seasons that include spring, summer, and winter. Autumn comes after summer but before winter and lasts from the first day of September to the last day of November. At this time of the year, the days start to get shorter and the nights grow longer, giving people less daylight to enjoy. The temperature also starts to get a lot cooler. That's why I have this jacket on. <laughs> Some people call autumn fall, which refers to the leaves falling off the trees during the season. The falling of the leaves begin when the leaves change colors and go from being bright green to now turning red, yellow, and orange. Let's read a book about what happens to the trees during the changing of the seasons. A Tree for All Seasons by Robert Bernard Year after year, a maple tree changes from season to season. In winter, the tree is bare. It looks dead, but it is alive and well. Many things are happening. Squirrels nap in a cozy tree hole. A little bird sits on a branch and calls its name Chickadiddy, Chickadiddy. Look closely at this tree branch. The bums at the tip are buds. They will open into leaves when the weather gets warmer. As winter ends, nights are still cold, but days are getting warmer. It is perfect weather for farmers to collect sugar maple sap. The sap flows out of taps and into the buckets. The sap has no color until it is boiled. Then it becomes dark, sweet maple syrup. What a treat for pancakes and waffles. <laughs> Spring brings warmer weather. The leaf bud opens. Soon the maple tree grows floppy green flower tassels. Birds build nests on the branches. Spring also brings rain showers. The tree's roots soak up the water and carry it to all parts of the tree. Sunshine helps the tree to make sap, which feeds the tree. Look at the veins in a leaf. Air, water, and sap all flow through them. In summer, the maple tree is covered with dark green leaves. Fruit, called samaras, is growing on the tree. It makes a good meal for chipmunks. Even on a hot summer day, you can find a cool place to play under a maple tree. Autumn brings chilly days and nights. Bugs crawl under the tree's bark where they will sleep through the cold weather. Animals get ready for winter when food will be hard to find. Squirrels hide lots of nuts and seeds. 
If you play in the leaves, you'll hear crunch, crunch, crunch. But don't worry about making noise. The maple tree won't wake up again until next spring. The end. A tree for all seasons. That's the story time. Let's sing a song about the autumn leaves. Autumn leaves are falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down, red, gold, and brown. We will rake them in a pile, in a pile, in a pile. We will rake them in a pile, red, gold, and brown. We are jumping in the pile, in the pile, in the pile. We are jumping in the pile, red, gold, and brown. Autumn leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down, red, gold, and brown. A scarecrow is a figure that is usually made of sticks and looks like a human. It is dressed in old clothes and filled with hay and grass. In the fall, farmers put a scarecrow in the pumpkin patches to scare the birds and the crows away from their fields. Let's sing a song about the scary scarecrow. The Dingle Dangle Scarecrow the cows are sleeping and the sun has gone to bed up jumped the scarecrow and this is what he said i'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat i can shake my hands like this i can shake my feet like that All the hens were roosting and the moon's behind a cloud. Up jumped the scarecrow and shouted very loud. I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this. I can shake my feet like that. La 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 I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this. I can shake my feet like that. You know what that sound means? We just got a text. Let's see who's from. It's from our friend DeAndre. Let's see what he says. DeAndre writes, Hi Mr. Pete, I am very excited for Halloween this year. Although I'm not sure if we'll be able to go trick or treating, I still want to wear my costume though. Do you know of some ways we can have Halloween safely? Halloween is one of my favorite times of the year, but we have to be extra safe and careful this year. If you do decide to go trick-or-treating, make sure you do it safely. There are still some fun, safe ways to celebrate Halloween, like decorating your home and having a costume contest virtually, or even having a trick-or-treat scavenger hunt at home. Let's sing a song about all the Halloween candy we get when we go trick-or-treating. Who took the candy from the trick-or-treat jar? Who took the candy from the trick-or-treat jar? The ghost took the candy from the trick-or-treat jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Not me. Then who? The pirate. Who took the candy from the trick-or-treat jar? The pirate took the candy from the trick-or-treat jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Not me. Then who? 
the monster. Who took the candy from the trick or treat jar? The monster took the candy from the trick or treat jar. Who me? Yes, you. Not me. Then who? The witch. Who took the candy from the trick or treat jar? The witch took the candy from the trick or treat jar. Who me? Yes, you. Not me. Then who? The vampire. Who took the candy from the trick or treat jar? The vampire took the candy from the trick or treat jar. Today we are making scary pumpkin lanterns for Halloween. Here are the materials that you will need. You will need a red and black construction paper. You will need a pair of safe scissors. Be sure to ask your parents for safe scissors. You will need a marker, whatever color you choose, preferably black. And you will need a stapler, or if you don't have a stapler at home, you can use glue as well. The first thing we will do is draw the face of your scary pumpkin. First you draw the eyes, make sure your paper is long ways like this. Then the nose. Then draw the scary mouth. <laughs> it's okay if the teeth is kind of messed up. Remember, I can't really draw. <laughs> but I'm gonna try my best and it's okay because it's a scary pumpkin. Ta-da! <laughs> my scary pumpkin face. <laughs> Once you have finished drawing the face, now you can color in the eyes, the nose, and the mouth with your black marker. There. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool looking. Oh. All right. Once you have your face finished, now you're going to fold your paper in half. Hamburger style. So that's like this. So the eye should be at the top. Next, you're going to cut lines throughout the face. Make sure that you save a little bit at the top. Don't cut it all the way through the paper. Okay, remember don't cut all the way through the paper. Leave a little bit at the top. All right, so it should look like this. Remember I said, leave a little bit at the top. Okay. Next, you will take your black paper and cut the end of it off in a straight line. This will be the handle of your lantern. Just like this. Now for the fun part. Open up your paper and you're going to connect the ends like this. So now you will take your stapler and you will staple, or if you have glue, you will glue both ends together. The bottom and the top together. So they should be stapled or glue like this. And now you will take your handle and you will connect it at the top. So you can fold it in half and staple or glue. 
the handle onto your lantern. And there you have it, your very own scary pumpkin lantern. Great job, everyone. I can't wait to see the lanterns that you created. Well, my friends, that is it for us today. We had so much fun learning about fog. We first learned about what happens to the leaves before they fall off the tree. Do you remember what color they turn? Red, orange, or brown. Great job. We also did a fun project creating Halloween lanterns. <laughs> and we sung songs about the scarecrow and stealing candy from the trick-or-treat jar. <laughs> Autumn or fall is one of the coolest seasons of the year, especially celebrating Halloween. If you do go trick-or-treating, please do it safely. Remember, always find music in the noise to love yourself. And I love you. We'll see you next time on Mr. Pete's Playhouse. Bye!